Hey guys, welcome to another week of the AKB48 Group News of the Week. And this time there's quite a bit of news, so I want to get right into it, starting off with the 48 Group. Oh, and by the way, if this is your first time, you can go ahead and check on the top right of the screen to see what section you're on, whether it's 48, graduated, or 46. I just stuck around for all of them, just in case you want to know more about everyone. And maybe you missed a couple things here or there. But let's start off with some exciting news, and that is with AKB's 51st single. Now we finally have a release date and we have a center. The release date will be March 14th, 2018 of course, and the center will actually be Okada Nana. And this is super exciting. This is her first ever center position in the A-side single. So it's super exciting not only for her fans but also for everyone in general. This shows the brand new chapter in AKB showing off the new lineup because when I was looking down at the people here, there's actually one that spot my eye, some, someone who I really like, and that's Macharin. And she's going to be in this single, so it's really, really exciting for me. I really do like her as a member, and I feel like she grew a lot, especially last year. And now seeing the benefits that she got from what she did last year is showing, so I'm super glad for her. And let's not forget the other people who are new to the lineup. It's actually Otayuri, Macharin, as I said before, it's Kurano Narumi, and it's Murayama Yuiri. So, very exciting for those members as well. The other ones are kind of like common that you see, but these being added in is actually a nice touch. And next up is actually something special with the ninth album for AKB, and it's actually on the website, which you can see down below. You get to preview some of the tracks. I went there, listened to the first one. It was actually Shoot Sign, and after listening to that, I was like, all right. <laughs> it just went on with my day. But you can go ahead and check it out for some audio or video previews. Next up is something that happened recently, and that was Request Hour. And I just want to mention the top song that was selected. Second was a teammate song. I feel like this is the third year that they've gotten second place. But for the first place, actually, it is NGT's second single. That means that the votes were not rigged for So Thank You. It means that people are actually putting money into this group. It might be like a couple people. But so those people are definitely putting money in there. So super exciting for them to actually go there and be ranked number one on there. I mean, that doesn't really explain their single sales, but it, I guess whoever the fans are, are putting it all in on the extracurricular activities and not in the singles. So something that got announced too while the whole request hour thing was going on is actually an exam that you can take. And those locations are Indonesia, Taiwan, and Thai that will be there. And the actual members can actually take the quiz too. It'll also be in different locations in Japan. For more, any more information about this, you can go check the link below. And something else that's happening for AKB is actually the wrestling that I talked about last week. Well, this time we got to see a little bit more about the members who are actually going to participate. Of course, we have our classics, the one that are going to face off at the end. Because, you know, you gotta continue the story from last time, you gotta continue that. As well as some more interesting people. So, if you wanna know more information and know more about the members that are there, go check it out down below. So I'm super excited to see the outcome of all of this for the new wrestling thing. And another thing that's happening is with the Dubai group, Mum48. And actually things are going a little bit different than we planned. It isn't so much like, oh hey, this is a new group, you know, common thing that's happening, you know, in different countries. It's actually being embraced there by the women that are there. It's actually being seen as an empowering woman, which is really interesting. It's actually being noticed as being forward for women, and is actually using a lot of the hashtag girl power. So it's really interesting to see. There was a photo released recently where people were like, oh look, they're like actual moms, but no, that's actually like a whole organization of women actresses who got together and actually supported this whole Mom48 because it's showing that it empowers women. And trust me, the Probably won't be moms there. Uh, the age range is actually 12 to 20 that are able to join. So things should be really interesting over there because they're actually embracing this and turning it to something a little bit more positive. So keep your eyes peeled on that. That actually seems pretty interesting to see what happens with that and like how the whole community reacts to it. Not including like the whole like pro woman community, but actually like the whole country. You see, AKB empowering women. <laughs> and something a little bit more down is actually with the draft. And one of the members already, well, members already decided to go out. And that is Amano Ami who decided to drop out, even though it's so close to the third draft date. Now, clearly we don't know the conditions of why she decided to drop out, but the fact is that she dropped out. So that's why I didn't include this in the member section because she wasn't a member yet. 
Oh man, you could have been in my member section. Ah, such a shame, right? If only next time. <laughs> Ooh, and now we have some interesting news about Team 8. First of all, let's start off with the, a little bit more down news, which is actually they had to stop a concert for a little bit because of overworkedness. I mean, they had like three songs in a row that were super hard working and they just like had to be like, okay, we're gonna take a little break. So at least they know like when is a little bit too far and they don't have to go and faint. I mean, not looking at anyone else. But something exciting for them is actually a tour they're going to do and that's actually coming up pretty soon. That is in Akita, Oita, and in Toyama. So if you're in Japan from the 28th, January 18th of February and 4th of March, you can go ahead and check those out if, you know, you can get a ticket. But someone else who's doing a tour is HKT48. They're doing a spring tour and it's at Kobe, Sendai, Saitama, Okinawa, and Fukuoka. Hmm. So if you're into HKT and going to be in Japan in the spring, you might want to check this out. And now some more stew news. Uh, it seems like they're gaining a little bit more momentum. And it's actually with another TV show. They've already had two and now there's another one coming out. This one doesn't seem like it's going to be as grandiose as the other two. But they will have some NMB members there to help out in the first episode. So we just have to wait and see how that goes. Oh, by the way, that show is called STU48X Shidori Nobu Setochi Shoujo Oendan. And now into a little bit more individual member news. We actually have some sad news to start, but I want to get it out of the way and clear the air for more happy news. And that is actually with our fresh lemon who is going to graduate. She announced it recently and I'm super sad personally. News is that she will stay until spring 2018. Maybe she wants to go in the summer fresh and actually be the adult that she wanted to be and get rid of the fresh lemon face. So hopefully everything goes well. Seems like her YouTube is starting to do a little bit better than it was before with her uploading more content. So maybe that direction plus a little bit of celebrity is the way she'll go. And since I'm talking about graduated, I might as well mention that Kita Harari's graduation concert date has been announced. And this will be part of the NGT solo concert, which is actually the 13th of April. So that means Kita Harari's will be the next day on the 14th. And that will be at the Toki Mesa. So, Kita Harari fans, if you have the availability to go, then I'd go check it out. And next up is Soda Sarina, who actually had her photo book cover revealed. And it's not that bad, actually. It's mostly face, like it's a lot of face and nothing really else about it. I mean, it tells that it is about her. So, I mean, I don't think I'm going to do a photo book critique of this. If you want to see a photo book critique of it, you can actually go on my Patreon and go on that tier because I, personally, I don't think I would do this like out of my own pocket. <laughs> and if you're interested in that photo book that comes out the 7th of February. And speaking of photo books, we actually get a brand new photo book announced and that is with someone I'm interested in, and that's Okala Nana, who is actually, like I said before, the center of the upcoming single. So it seems like things are really, really going forward with her. I mean, she's a member, she's a captain, she's the center now, and she's getting her own photo book. I mean, that's pretty good. So look forward to that coming out to the 27th of February. I think I'm gonna pick this one up. And speaking of, like, you know, modeling and everything, there's actually someone who is going to be a model in Ray. You know, Ray, the magazine where Shirashimai Watanabe Rika is. And that is Yoshida Akarin, you know, the girl who has a YouTube channel and is an NMB. Well, she will be now a model in Ray. She's an exclusive model for them. So this is super exciting. And the first issue that comes out for her is the March. So that means it comes out like in February. Oh, my bad the 23rd of January, you know, because you gotta get that March issue like two months before. But yeah, super exciting for her to actually get that. Ray is a pretty good deal. And last bit is actually with Sasha Hararino, who's actually crazy girl. She does so much, and this time she's actually going to be another producer for a different idol group, and that is actually part of the Last Idol thing. So basically, they each have their own unit in Last Idol, and whoever wins the next season of Last Idol will actually get to be the the main unit that actually does the main song. And Sashi was actually appointed one of the units. The group that she will be in charge of is Someday Somewhere. As well as other people who actually have some experience actually being in charge of other units. So it's pretty interesting to see like everyone producing their own unit and bowing each other out. In the original season, it's actually individual people challenging the members of Last Idol and taking their place and everything to be in the actual group. So now it looks like it's more unit battles versus one person battles another person. Seems like it would be interesting. 
All right, so now let's move on to graduated, starting off with Kawairina in a brand new commercial, like, like always. <laughs> This time it is for Ginza Kaya. And in this commercial, she actually dances, sings, and actually does like a little, the, the gal thing that people do. Recommend this one for sure. And someone else who's in a commercial is actually Kojima Haruna, who's in a Uniqlo commercial. That's pretty, that's pretty high up there. And in this commercial, she's actually in New York. And you know, it's one of those like getting ready, you know, with my undergarments and everything. So for sure, watch that. The link for all of these ads will be down below. And someone else who's in a commercial is Oshima Ryoka, who we usually don't talk about in The Graduated, but she is in a commercial. And that is for Independent Insurance Agents of Japan Incorporated. So yeah, go check that out down below. Oh yeah, the reason why I haven't seen this is because this is actually like four minutes long. So if you, if you want to watch this long commercials, go ahead and watch it down below. And the last member which will help us transition into the 46th side is actually Fukugawa Mai who is actually releasing a photo magazine, they call it? It doesn't say photo book, it says photo magazine. And the title of this is actually My Magazine. We talked about this on the Slope Podcast, but we wished it could have been M-A-I, like, you know, my, but it sounds like my, like mine. But instead they went with the M-Y, so making it kind of obvious. But that definitely should be interesting, and that comes out the 22nd of February. So now let's move on to the 46th side, starting off with the lineup for Hong Kong and the members that are going to be there. Now there's going to be 14 members who are actually going to be there, so it definitely looks interesting just from the lineup alone. You can see the picture here that there are going to be quite prominent members. So if you're going to be there, for sure check it out, and remember that it's the February 11th. Next up is new commercials for Baito and Nogizaka. You know, they like to do stuff together sometimes. But there's actually three different commercials. You can see all three different members down below because they each have their own different commercials. I mean, obviously I'm biased, but I do like Shiraishi's commercial. But I also like Saito Asuka's commercial too. It's a little bit more cutesy, even though Shiraishi's is cute with the coffee. But that doesn't say Miona's is bad. I'm just saying I might prefer Shiraishi's a little more. <laughs> and next up is something interesting with Nogi Koi actually doing like a little web drama. It's only like three, four minutes long, but it's actually the members talking and kind of like mini muscle requests. If you're more interested in that, you can go ahead and check it out on the YouTube channel. They actually have episodes one and two out right now. I haven't really checked to see if three's out yet. So maybe soon. We talked about this more in length on the Slope podcast, so I'll leave you there to watch it. And next up is some interesting news that I kind of talked about last week, but when I released the video, new news came out, and I left in the comments like the updated news. So I'll talk about it now more in depth, and that's actually with Kanji Kiyakizaka not being able to perform at the Budokan, and because Tachi pretty much hurt her tricep, I don't know if she like ripped it or something, I think she like strained it. So it's going to take a month to recover, so that's quite a bit of time for her to recover, and that means that unfortunately the center of Kanji Kiyakizaka can't go. I kind of wish the units of Kanji would go, but apparently all of them came together and said, hey, it's all of us or nothing, which they didn't say with Zumin, so... But I mean, it is the center, so I guess it's kind of more important, even though it should be all for one, one for all. So with Kanji not going there, that means Hiragana has to step up to the plates and go and perform all three days, which I imagine the tickets are gonna stay the same price. I mean, they can't be like, all right, people who already bought tickets, it's lower now. So it's probably going to stay the same price. So this is a great opportunity for Hiragana actually to be able to show the people, you know, what's up, we're here too. We, we're not gonna like lose or anything. We can keep up. Let's see if we faint or not. Hopefully they don't like overexert themselves again. But like I said, super good opportunity for them. And I mean, just looking at Nowhere in the Future, you can actually see that there is a lot of dance moves in that song and they'll have to play like the A-sides, right? They'll have to play Fukuo Aon, Silent Majority, all of that. I mean, they pretty much know it. Second gen Hiragana might have to learn a lot in this month, but I feel like they should be able to do it and it should be a good outcome. Again, I wish it wasn't like, oh, there's this group and then there's Hiragana. I wish it was sort of like a mix of them but we just have to wait and see. Maybe now with this opportunity that's coming up, maybe they'll be like, oh yeah, maybe we should just make them all one group. So hopefully things between them kind of become a little bit more like Nogizaka where it's like the lineup, the Senbatsu lineup, and then the under members. So like in Nogizaka, it's the Senbatsu and then the other people. So then people could like, you know, intertwine between them and go into different places. But most of the under ones are actually most of the time under, and most of the Senbatsu are mostly Senbatsu, but sometimes they like switch around and everything. Just like we saw with Etomisa going to Senbatsu and stuff like that. So hopefully, 
Kiyakizaka does a little bit more that way rather than making Hiragana and Kanji separate because I mean Hiragana is always going to seem like the little sister group and isn't going to get like songs for themselves at least that's what it looks like right now so hopefully it's a little bit more of a blend in the future that's that's my hope i don't know what you guys think if you guys think no they should stay separate and like they should never get a single <laughs> leave it down below in the comments but yeah that does it all for this week i hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy the video i just released about the photo book critique there will be a future photo book critique coming out with kitahara Riya, so look forward to that and i think ito marikas is coming out soonish so look forward to that one too. Again, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube, support me on Patreon, do all of that jazz. I will be doing a live stream with Patreon people next week on Friday. So if you want to join in and be able to join the call, you can go ahead and try that out. Go ahead and leave those comments down below. And as I say every single week, thank you all for watching.